on f- uh, in terms of uh, extreme sports, now this story you have to watch it very keenly because Kenya will be turning 60 later this year and now two wingsuit athletes, that is Sebastian Alvarez, he's from Chile, and Danny Roman from uh, Spain, together with their cameraman Vitor Benassi from Brazil, made history by being the first men to wingsuit fly around Mount Kenya on the 23rd of this month. Now, our reporter Elijah Uko caught up with the history makers and tells us more about the jaw-dropping experience dubbed the ultimate aerial challenge in the heart of Africa. For close to a year and a half, the trio of Sebastian Alvarez, Danny Roman and Vito Benassi had been dreaming about the ultimate wingsuit challenge in Kenya and their dream came to pass when they made history by being the first wingsuit athletes to glide in the air around Mount Kenya. The athletes leaped from a tropic air chopper at an altitude of 18,057 feet over the Batian Peak, with Lake Michelson being the designated landing area, recording astounding speeds ranging between 200 to 240 kilometers per hour. It's always special to jump in, in different places, no? Like especially something that we can jump in this special location or like Mount Kenya, such a special place of the country. Wingsuit flying is a form of skydiving which entails donning a specialized jumpsuit that enables skydivers to leap from the plane and glide horizontally for a significant distance. Wingsuit jumpers are required to have notched at least 500 skydiving jumps before they are allowed to use a wingsuit. It's a risky sport that requires meticulous planning. For all the week and for all this uh, kind of year and a half, we've been checking the location, Google Earth, measuring everything where we could fly. And when we go here, we basically were making sure that those numbers were right, that the landing area we, um, that we saw, we like it. Uh, so do a good location check, do a good measurements with GPS data, like what is the distance, how, flat, how fast we can go, if we could make it to the landing. 23rd August was the moment of truth. One thing is what you see on the internet and, or in pictures or in books, and the other thing is what your eyes see. And it was, of course, way more beautiful and at the same time scary than what we thought. Their leap into the unknown was chronicled by Vito Benassi. Danny and Sebastian had specialized GoPro cameras attached on their helmets to provide a rare view of their aerial adventure. The two cameras mounted on top here and one here in the forehead. Tum, tum. And um, I have a ring sight, like a, basically a, a stick like this with a ring that shows me the center. Like I don't see what the camera is seeing, but it just shows me a point where I know that's the middle of the framing and everything is done by just looking you know like I have this point and I have to put it where it needs to be and uh, I will zoom in and out by flying closer or further away we're not doing 10 jumps from there sometimes because of weather because of this because of the logistics we just have one shot to get it done and I, I really love those Despite having had more than 30,000 combined skydives and experienced hundreds of wingsuit flying together, the Mount Kenya experience has a special place in their memories. I will rank it on my top three for sure. This is my first time in Africa and I feel I really want to come back. Elijah Ugo, NTV Sport.